The Bad Batch Season 2 came to an end the other day, and what an end it was. I personally thought the finale was great, and is setting up for a third season, of which I think is going to be insane. Overall, I thought Season 2 had been the best of the first two seasons of The Bad Batch. Many different stories were told, of which I had some enjoyment with, and certain ones that I thought were a little bit on the low side, but I didn't dislike. I'm someone who likes when there are many different stories to tell, kind of like how they did that with Clone Wars. But I will say, though, when this show focused on everything around the clones themselves, those were some of the best episodes, and I think that is a good tie-in to why I think Season 3 will be awesome and the best season yet. Season 2 ended with us seeing Omega captured by Dr. Hemlock and his clone commandos, one of which is the Commando Scorch, who I've talked about already in another video, who was a part of the Delta Squad of clone commandos. The Bad Batch themselves, including Hunter, Echo, and Wrecker, are left alone, knowing that they have to get her back. Along with this, we also know that there's a potential possibility that our boy Tech is also dead after he perished to sacrifice himself to save the lives of his brothers and Omega. However, for someone like me, I think the door can definitely be left open to theorize if he did live or not. We didn't see a fully dead body, and for all we know, Hemlock was lying when he said that all he found was his glasses. At the same time, the potential romance between Tech and Fee in the future is also up in the air if he were to have survived, and maybe he could get together with her and live a life in peace far away from the war. In terms of how this all sets up for the potential third season that we could get, there is a lot to discuss. Firstly, I think the general premise of what Season 3 is going to give us based on everything that happened in Season 2 will very heavily focus on the clone side of this current conflict in the galaxy. I think we are going to be seeing a lot more clone stories, whether it be with the Bad Batch, or maybe with a character like Rex, or other clones that we've already seen before. One of those clones that I think is going to make an appearance since we already got him for one episode in Season 2 is Cody. The story of that man has still yet to be told from the perspective of what happened to him after he deserted the Empire after he went on that mission with Crosshair. I think we will definitely see him return, and maybe he will group up with the Bad Batch and Rex and the clones to help liberate Mount Tantus and free Omega and Crosshair and any other clone prisoners. Another potential clone that I think has a great chance of showing up in this season, especially since we know where his story goes in a show like Star Wars Rebels, is Wolf. Now, obviously, with him, we don't know a whole lot of where he went after Order 66. He was also a clone that, for the most part, didn't get a lot of screen time in the Clone Wars show. He's essentially the guy that Rex is to Anakin, where he was side by side with Plo Koon for the majority of the war, and knowing where he is in Rebels with Rex and Gregor, it would make sense that potentially we'll see him either get freed or something else will happen to bring them all together. We obviously know that Senator Chuchi is getting her hands into the clones situation as well and so we might see that story continue as she tries to do as much as she can to help them. She was one of my favorite parts of Season 2, especially since she is a character that only showed up in spurts for a couple of scenes and only one full episode of Clone Wars. There is a potential possibility that she'll work in the behind the scenes to get the clones the information they need in order to commit some of the ops of rescuing clones or other operations. The Empire will no doubt be watching her closely after what she did to Rampart, so in a way it's almost like a Senator Amidala situation, where she'll constantly have threats trying to kill her during the war. I have a feeling the Crosshair and Omega storyline is going to be quite interesting as we explore the Empire side with the cloning operations, and what the deal is between this new character, who is supposedly the clone sister of Omega. This is where we might see characters like Tarkin pop up again, maybe Palpatine will show up since they are working on the experiments that he requested to be done, and will want to see the progress. At the same time, in terms of those experiments themselves, we are potentially going to see what they turn out to be. In terms of what I think we potentially are not going to see at least to a big extent, are characters like Sid and maybe Fee, as I mentioned already, and the people of Pabu. Don't get me wrong, I think they will show back up, but it might be sparingly. I do believe that this third season will focus heavily on the clone side of things more so. I know there have been people out there who have gotten annoyed with the first two seasons and how they've done certain storylines that felt quote-unquote filler, but I personally disagree. I don't understand how it could be filler if it is still following the main characters of the show that it is titled after. It's just their way of exploring different stories while trying to also develop all these characters. Tech had got a very big focus in this season, and that is why they went the route they did in, again, quote-unquote, 
killing him because they really wanted to make you feel the emotion during that moment. And overall, the characters of the Bad Batch have proven not just to be badass, but at the same time to be good soldiers and good people for wanting to do their best to help others in the galaxy. They are also not technically soldiers anymore. They don't work for an army, and so they have to adapt and be comfortable with different and new situations. Which, Season 3, I bet you might not see that a whole lot, and they will be teaming up with a lot of the clones to commit missions to help get themselves to Tantus and rescue Omega and Crosshair, since they still don't know where that place is located. We can all thank Saw Gerrera for that, since he blew up the tracking beacon in the finale of Season 2. In terms of how it'll end, I actually think that not only will this be the final season of the series, but I also think it could be shorter than the number of episodes that we've gotten already in the first two seasons. Admittedly, I hope it's not because I do think it'll be a fun season, but that's just my theory. On the point of the final season, I do think that this is its time to end. A last stand against the Empire to get everything they care about back in safe hands and live a life away from the war. I am also still holding on to the theory that this series will end with Darth Vader showing up and being the one to come after everyone, and it ends in the most dark and depressing way possible. It's either going to end that way in the most dark way possible to where Darth Vader essentially kills everyone and someone like Hunter or Omega are the only ones who are left alive, or it's going to end with our Bad Batch characters living away peacefully from the war. And so those are probably going to be the two theories that I go with into Season 3. So we'll just have to wait and find out. In the end, I am looking forward to more clone stories, and hopefully this series gives Lucasfilm and Disney the ability to want to make a Tales of the Clone Wars style series where we follow more untold Clone Wars stories during the war. I know we already got Tales of the Jedi, but I would love to see that kind of show also done for the clones themselves. I think again this season will be crazy, and I am hoping we can get it sometime next year when it is officially announced. We do know that at Star Wars Celebration in London that the Bad Batch is going to have their own panel, so we might hear some interesting details there, so we'll have to stay tuned for that. The last part of this video that's needed are all of your thoughts on what I had to say, and as well as what you predict will happen in Season 3. Let me know down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you are new and want to see more. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and may the Force be with you.